Hey guys, what's going on? We have another Alliance War video today. And today we will be going against 211. So we're going to be starting on path 9. Um, and our first fight here is going to be a rank 5 Agent Venom on Aegis Heavy. And I'm just checking the global here. I totally missed what it was. Um, this war was a couple days ago. So I'll let this fight play out. Um, but I'm just going to put it out there now. Um, so there's no surprise to anyone. But this is um, not only the worst war of the season for me so far. Um, this is probably the worst like war I've ever had. So... Um, you'll see here, um, it starts out okay. This Agent Venom is rank 5, um, and we've taken this fight several times before. I'm really comfortable with it. So there are the backup recovery triggers, but it doesn't even matter. Um, you know, the special 2 killed him. So we're going to be moving on to our second fight here. And our second fight is going to be a rank 5 Ebony Maw. So I brought um, Nick Fury for this fight. Because um, you can't use Ghost. Um, and I also brought Nick Fury for the main boss. Which is an invisible woman. So my plan here was to just, you know, use him. Keep his life model decoy up just so that I could shrug off the suicide damage um, at the beginning of the boss fight. Um, but here we're just going to try to get some intercepts off against this guy. So, uh, bait out the special one. And I have no idea how I missed that intercept. Um, got one there against the wall. Gonna tap him a couple times to back him up, and he uh, actually intercepted me. So I'm using the special three, even though it won't do anything, just to get myself out of the corner. And then we'll go for our final, um, our final intercept. And what I find to be easiest when it comes to this node in particular. Um, is to just, like, not rush to get those indestructible charges off. They'll come off in time, but just kind of play it like normal. If you try to rush into them, um, that's how you make mistakes. Like some of the ones that I've made. So, got the last one off there. Now we can start doing damage. And you can see that um, the fight's halfway over right now. We have a minute 30 left in it. Um... But you'll see how fight this, how quickly this fight ends after, after uh, that time's up. So there, got another intercept off on him. I'm just barely hanging on to that life model decoy, and here I miss, and um, I lose my life model decoy. So for this fight, it doesn't really matter, but it will come into play later. So we're going to be moving on now to our next fight. We uh, we went ahead and scouted this. And I was asked to take it. So we're going to bring Ghost in. This is another um, Aegis Heavy node. And it looks like it's going to be rank 5 Mordo. So this fight with Ghost is really straightforward. As long as you have um, your crit your crit passive up, uh, you can parry and heavy Mordo. So here we're just going to wait out his power gain, bait out the special one, and get those indestructible charges off of him. So he has his power gain again, and during war um, I don't heavy him. Unless it's an emergency, I'm not going to try to stop his power gain. It really doesn't matter too much. So we're going to build to our special 2, drop that, and that also shuts off his power gain. So uh, 
there he threw a special one and from this point on I believe he's pretty quick with his specials he doesn't uh, he doesn't hold on to them or anything so we're gonna finish with our special two and that fight is over so let's go ahead and get into the ugly part of the war now so we are back on path five in section two and we only have one fight and it is a rank five wasp the global here is dodge and yeah so we're gonna bring ghost in this should be a really standard fight i am boosted um relatively big for this fight i'm gonna slow it down so there um you can see that i got dexed i backed up i went for a double dash back and it just didn't input so here i figured that because she was stunned um she couldn't evade my hit but she did and yeah i mean that's all it took so super embarrassing fight i literally did no damage to her so I went ahead and healed up, went back in, same boost, same everything, and I decide to parry. So you can see this is how the fight was supposed to go the first time. Drop a special two, takes her down to 1%, which has been happening quite a bit lately, and just drop my other special two. So that's how that first fight should have gone. Um, yeah, I have, I have no idea what happened with that first fight. So, we're going to be moving on to the mini boss. And it's going to be Quake, the debuff immune Quake um, with Dismay. So I am boosted relatively big for this fight. Um, I had already died once, I definitely didn't want to die again. And I'm running through to the boss on the same set of boosts. So... We're going to be going into this fight with Ghost. And yeah, I feel like we've all seen this fight before. Um, just one hit combos. Uh, especially when the dodge, when dodge is up. So yeah, there I was just waiting to be able to phase again. I didn't want to bait out a heavy. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to drop my special two, and we do have the tech power boost on. So go ahead and bait out that special one, we're going to drop another special two, and that'll take care of her. So here you'll see at the end of this, um, I my iPhone storage is full, so I did lose one of my uh, last two final boss attempts. So I know that that um, is a little bit of a spoiler, but we're going to go in here. And the biggest mistake that I feel like I made um, was not removing suicides. So I go in here, I've got all my boosts on. I throw on a power start one boost. And yeah. So because I lost my life model decoy earlier, I'm going to have the, um, the damage over time debuffs from my suicide. So I still have the bleed, I still have the poison in addition to the recoil. And you can see that's just chipping me down really quickly. So here, my goal was to fire off two special ones. Um, just to go unblockable. So there's my second one. I am unblockable now. Bait out her special one. And right there, I got hit. So, yeah, I did die a second time to this fight. I went back in, healed up, died again. Um, we did end up winning the war regardless, but yeah, that was two deaths to the boss plus the death to Wasp. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty horrible war for me. Uh, the Alliance did pick up my slack. And I also have a featured 5-star crystal I tacked on to the end of this. Um, maybe, f maybe for the next one I'll show you guys. I have a list of everything I've pulled so far. Um, and I can go ahead and show you guys that. Um, but I'm looking for Warlock and Clairvoyant. 
and this is stopping and it lands on Mysterio so not too bad and yeah this is a new champion so anyway thank you guys for watching and I will upload the next war video soon all right thank you